Hi YouTube, I connected my new circuit for the little test um, right here to the direct power port and it sucks up about 270 milliamps and that's mainly due to the network uh, physical interface here yeah, that sucks it and, and yeah this one sucks up about 150 milliamps and in the FT232 is not po uh, co uh, programmed correctly because I wanted to use it to power up the board 500 milliamps and for that I have to program it correctly also this LED here doesn't just write okay let's do that <clears throat> I mean it needs a Windows tool first I have to Attach the device. This is that one. And then I have to read in the device with this tool here. Scan and power. Yeah, that's a little. Ah, that's shitty. Yeah, 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 yeah. And nothing's still enumerating. Oh, come on. It is connected. Yeah, that's always the... Ah, come on. Ah, maybe I have to connect it again. That's three. I think I need the driver. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Always the same shit. Here it is. Problem is Windows obviously blocks the device um, until it starts its driver application, whatever kind of stuff. That is stupid from an operating system, but okay, that's obviously the way it is. Because the driver isn't even installed, and it need to be installed because that tool wouldn't need a driver, but anyhow. Okay, here it is. That's the device, and here you can set up a lot of uh, stuff here. Let's check this out. Okay. I won't do it all in the video, but I'll show you what you can do. You could use a custom PID, but we want, don't want to do that, because if we do it, no, that's not so good. But the vendor ID and, um, I mean, the product ID, come on. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Here, uh, here, the manufacturer. And all that kind of stuff, I, I will change. And you can change the I.O. controls, which means the, the bus lines you can configure. And this is important now. Because this isn't correct for my circuit. Right? I have a TX and an RX LED, which in itself is a little stupid, I think. Maybe I should use one of those LEDs for something different, I don't know. Like, you know, it's probably the power on right now, or something like that. And I have to use the sleep line. So the sleep line I have to configure such that it will... Such that it will... 
No, it's a, yeah, that's pro, yeah, that's the sleep line, USB sleep line. Uh, I have to configure it such it is correct for my circuit, so it will uh, say uh, just switch my transistor. Hey, what's that? This is why I hate Windows. Yeah. Schedules restarts and all that kind of stuff in background. I don't like that. I mean, I'm just working here, and, and Windows is doing all that kind of st stuff to me. I don't like this. And if I wouldn't have seen it, here we go. Yeah, that, that, those are the, s the strings. Yeah? Manufacturer ID, product description, which I would say something like an ultimate sens sensor board, and serial number, which you can change. Uh, well, this is all uh, this is a little stupid too. Because, you know, the tool? No. Uh, can change the size of the window. Nice. Uh, the tool has it all here, right here. What you can change, even a description, which is very nice, it gives you a little information about it. It's. And then you have to change one more thing, and this is that. Um, a max bus power setting needs to be set to 500 milliamps because this is what the device actually tells the USB uh, bus and uh, tells the USB bus like, in, hey, come on, I need 500 milliamps, and standard is below 100 milliamps, and this need be enumerated. And this is what I have to do. So I have to change the, uh, this to 500 milliamps, and then I have to change. The hardware specific on a hardware specific it is um, the bus lines. The lines uh, Okay. No? Yeah, and I on the IO controls it is. You know on the IO controls it is in the end and then I have to reassign the IO lines correctly such that it fits to my circuit. And since I have to look at the circuit diagram right now and all that kind of stuff and I have only one hand I'll do that later um, but this is what I have to do with the FT232 device and with this FT prog it is called you can then save a uh, configuration file that you if you rebuild the circuit can load and then program yeah because right now it isn't correct Two things ain't correct. Um, this one LED is certainly not uh, programmed to RX or, or TX LED, and it's not programmed that the the sleep line connects um, to this transistor here. And this is what I have to do on the IO controls. Good. So far, it at least appears to be working, although the um, the LEDs of uh, network interface don't work, but um, you know this probably do doesn't work because you have to configure it over the driver. It means um, you have to first initialize the, the network interface and then tell the network interface what to do with the LEDs here. It's also configurable over the driver. You have to implement on your controller. And before you don't do that, this won't work. Because, you know, right now I'm not so sure whether it is my circuit that has still some errors or it is the software. I mean, they, there isn't any software running yet. Naturally, nothing will work. But this is where how you start out. Okay, thanks for watching. And as probably, this is where you probably realize that this kind of stuff is can take you a lot of time, can <laughs> take your lifetime away. Thanks for watching and see you soon.